Dayton has not left led since the 15 minute mark in the first half. 15-02 was the last lead, a chance to take the lead on this possession. Jordan Davis. Here's Crutcher. Six on the shot clock. Crutcher inside. Toppin and Dayton leads it by one. And what a way to grab the lead. How nice is it to know you can just throw it up anywhere and it's getting thrown down if that guy's going baseline. Dariante Jenkins misses, but Michael Sims with the offensive rebound and VCU will reset. 420 to go in the game. VCU continues to track those offensive boards and, and it's and Williams is fouled by Obi Toppin. Listen back in New York City. Old Dunker's delight came out of his seat on that one. Obi has 13 points. Playing a great second half. And there is an offensive foul on Vince Williams. So now he's doing it. But now with three fouls, how about that defensive position? Taking a charge. Smart play for the redshirt freshman. Showing tons of heart right here. Roy Evans is inside the grill of Jalen Crutcher. Cunningham. Crutcher. Topping. Another three ball try. Almost in and out. Rebound away to Marcus Evans. A good job by Douglas of blocking Cunningham off and preventing him from getting that offensive board. See what kind of character VCU shows after blowing a 22-point early second-half lead. Three and a half to go. Evans, beautiful drive and oh, a finish with a left hand. Made a great decision and accelerated. He saw that seam and just went hard at it. Hey, this is the game we thought we were going to have. We didn't think we were going to have two halves like this. We thought it would be this way all game long, and we've got it. Evans with eight. Three and a little bit to go. VCU now by one. Five to shoot. Davis on the drive. Oh, Block. Nice wow, block. that's outstanding defense. Vince Williams. Jenkins. Michael Sims. Good finish. And that's that is VCU in a nutshell right there. Get a block, get out and run on the on transition, get your points. VCU showing poise after having been down, responding with a couple of buckets. Now a three-point lead. Crutcher, good drive. Floater, no, and rebound away, Vince Williams. And right, Crutcher got up. Yeah, got to play him again. So Mike Rhodes, he was a heck of a player in his own right. Two-time Division Three National Player of the Year back in Pennsylvania at Lebanon Valley. His coach was Pat Flannery, who had some good years at Bucknell. Evans on the drive and the finish. Boy, he has come up big. Boy, right, not, not only over the on-the-ball defender, but Toppin was coming over to try to help. And the rim protector, he shot it with a beautiful lob over the top. So Crutcher's out of the game right now. And we should say, he, when, what they did, they were they were looking at him, they rolled out his calf, they are pushing his toe up toward, uh, up toward the... the up. Jenkins leading the way with 19, and Mike Selt shooting one and one. The field, two of three from three. And, but but with very strange for him. And they get the ball back. But Mike's is one of them. They'll have the basketball. They need to capitalize. Down by four. <laughs> and there's a foul on VCU. Two of three today. Make it three of four. Shade above nine. Standout player at Bradley who transferred. And he's beloved here as a team leader. Sort of a heart and soul guy. And they're down only two. Buck 50 to go. What a good one here at Dayton. And uh, Dayton will apply some pressure to VCU. A little taste of their own medicine. As they now back off and play man-to-man -man in the half court. Evans with a basketball. He's a cool customer. And he's played well the last few minutes. Dariante Jenkins with a drive. And scoop, no, rebound. Santos Silva, and he's fouled. 
the Flyers is a recognition that the way to handle pressure is to attack it. So when they go after him, he just tries to go right by him, and that's been good things. Santos Silva, no. 56% on the year. And so now Dayton again with a chance to tie or with a three, take the lead. You see that defense extended out. And again, where Crutcher's been so good is when they've pressured him that far from the ball, he's gone right at him. There it is. Five on the shot clock. Davis. Oh, my! He'd been quiet all day, and now he puts Dayton back up by one with a deep triple. This place is lit right now. Isaac Van. And that'll be a blocking foul. Now Isaac Van. 82% foul shooter. Tough from Dayton. Zapp and Roger Troutman. Dayton. More bounce to the ounce. And we have it. <laughs> and the Ohio players. Think about fire. We're on fire right now here in Dayton. VCU with a one-point lead and 33 seconds to go. Jalen Crutcher, pounded by Marcus Evans. 12 on the shot clock, inside to OB Toppin. Up against the backboard, no, and counted and a foul. Wow, it wasn't pretty, but he found a way. For the game, 75% foul shooters, two of two today. Not that time. Dayton leading by one. 10 seconds to go. Evans on the drive. And the finish. What a drive. Five seconds to go. Not calling timeout. Davis. And he's blocked. Out of bounds. 0.4 seconds to go. VCU leading by one. And the officials will go over and check the clock to, to make sure how much time is left and determine whether you can catch and shoot. Boy, look at how big is this play by Evans. He drives into traffic, muscles the ball up on the backboard, and gets the bucket. That's oh, yeah. If you, if, 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 let's, let's go back. That's Evans, a big, big time. You've been saving where you run a screen for Toppin, and you throw it up there and let him throw it down. This, this, is, the, this is the time to pull that one out. Trying to complete an amazing comeback. They were down 22 early in the second half. Now down by one with a basketball and .7 to go. And if you're Dayton, if you're Dayton here, you, you, you've got to set solid screens and expect VCU to switch those screens so nobody comes clean if they can't get over the top of them. Here we go. Inside, and that'll do it. They were unable to get it in clean. And a heartbreaking loss for Obi Toppin and Dayton after a spectacular and gutsy comeback. Trying to get it, and, and Dayton, I'm certain, wasn't supposed to have two offensive players right next to each other. And that ends the game as VCU guts it out, and Evans makes the go-ahead bucket.